Hello, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the Fast Member Members list. So basically, you can find the Members list under the products in the Fast Member menu. When you first install the plugin, the Members list will be empty until you run the Quick Start Wizard, and then the admin user will actually be added to this Members list. So the first members that were added are the admin user, and then you can browse around your site and access the content. Now, members are added in a few different ways. Basically, when they sign up for a free product and they fill out the registration form, they're going to be added to that product. Or you can set the auto registration when a new WordPress user is added to your site so that basically any new WordPress users will be added to that product. When they purchase the products, they're going to be added to a product. And also inside the integrations for the products, there's various options for adding them from a different platform. So you can add a member when they purchase on ClickFunnels or ClickBank or any of the other platforms that we currently support or we add in the future, basically a member will be automatically added to your website. And then we can filter the members list by the different products. So for example, if we wanted to just look at the free products, this will give a list of all the members in the free product. And then if we wanted to just see the products for a specific member, we can actually search for a member using their email address. So if we actually go to the transaction list and then click on one of these member names, you'll see all the products this member is actually a member of as well. Now these columns will give you more details on the various member statuses. So basically this member is a member of these three products. Fast member actually taps into the WordPress user profiles and builds a layer on top of that so that basically when they are a member of your site, they are a WordPress user. And if you delete that user from WordPress, it will also delete them from fast member. But if you delete a member from fast member, it won't delete them from WordPress. In this column, we have a drip advance function. So this is useful for testing your drip sequences or actually advancing a member through a drip sequence. So if you have content that's set in a drip sequence and you've got pages going out over time, say seven days, 14 days, you can advance a member through that sequence just by entering the day in the box here. So they will get access to content that they didn't have until that date would pass. You can actually forward them through that content. This is their registration date for this product. So if they sign up for another product, obviously they will have a different registration date. So it's not the date they first sign up for the site, it's the date they actually join that product. Here we have an expiry date. So depending on the product type, it's either going to say never or it's actually going to give an expiry. So you can see here, this single product, which is a one-time payment, it never expires because they should always have access to it. Unless, of course, you set that single product to expire. The subscription product, however, is actually an expiring product and this is set for a monthly subscription. So this expires on the 4th of August. And you can see that the status of the subscription is active. And once a subscription expires, basically they will no longer have access to the content. An expiry basically happens automatically once that date passes and no more payments are received into your website. So once a payment is received, it will basically refresh that date. And as long as payments are received before the expiry date or on the expiry date, then their status will remain active on the, as a member of your site. However, if you don't receive a payment and their status becomes expired, then they no longer have access to the content until they reactivate their membership. And this just gives you an indication of when the user last logged in. So you can see how active your members are. Finally, this action column is going to give you an action depending on whether it's a subscription product. You could cancel the subscription from here. So if we wanted to cancel this subscription, we just hit the button. It's going to give you a dialog box to just make sure you want to cancel. And if we do cancel that, it's going to change our status here to canceled rather than active. And if we go and look at the transactions, it will also update that transaction that the member purchased with. And you can see the action here for the transaction. There's no longer a refund option available either. Now we can delete members and we can update their drip advance. And all we need to do is basically update this box. Next to this are the actual export and import functions. So we can export members to a CSV file and we just select the product or all products. And if we want to include inactive members, we can include them as well. So basically those are members that are subscriptions have expired and then we can download that CSV. And again, if we want to import members, we basically need to format a CSV file with these headers and there'll be a more detailed tutorial on this. And then we can basically import it here. And if we have the product set in the column, it will detect from the CSV. However, we can decide to import them all into one product as well. We could set a default password for your members. I'd suggest to leave that blank so the system will generate a password for them. And then you can decide whether you want to send them an email notification and subscribe them to a newsletter at the same time. As I said, there is a more detailed tutorial on this process. 
Just further down, we have the manually add section. So we can choose to add members that are already on the site to products, or we can add new members. So if we choose a product here, and then we can search for a member, and it will come up with the members' emails, all the members called Dave, who have an email address. Or if you look for a specific email address, it will find that member. And then we'd basically just select the member and add them. If we want to add a new user, we'd skip the user selection. So we'd select a product, or we could select multiple products. And then we'd just fill out this form. And once we fill out the form, we can choose whether this is going to be a membership type that expires. So if you want the membership to expire, we just basically double click this box and set the expiry date here. And then there's the option here to send the welcome email. So basically it won't send them an email when they're added to that product. So for example, if you're doing some internal site maintenance and you're moving members around and they don't need to get a notification, then you can uncheck that box and they won't have a notification about the product that they've been added to. So you can just continue what you're doing without them being notified.